Oh, welcome back fans and friends. For this upcoming video, we have the green lights running on empty series 13. So this is their latest one. And I've constantly brought up this series because they paint their cars in the, um, I wanna say petroleum products industry. Oh, and, but each one, even in the same series, will be differently painted. You'll have a map on the back. You will have some sort of blue to black to yellow to green, all sorts of colors. It looks very nice. Other than that, and then you have gas pump right there, in this specific case, Golf. And it's the 1967 Mercury Cougar XR7 Trans Am Racer. So this is a vehicle that would be used for cross-country, uh, specifically Trans American, hence the Trans Am. In 1967, those older cars, uh, they had the Pan, America, Pan Americana series. From before, I've done one vehicle from that, specifically this one. However, this one is not decked out in quite the library of this one so we're just gonna go quickly go through everything is the standard eight years old 164 scale die cast metal chassis the french there and then we have contains one die cast car contains to the french version of that and then we go to the back where we have collect the whole series and this is once again like auto world one of the benefits to if you leave it in the package you happen to know what's in series 13 or 12 or whatever uh, that way you can take a look at, say, you know, or any of these other ones are ones that I want. So I do have this one. I will eventually be doing that. I do want to get this. I think I did this one already. Yeah. And then this one also I have somewhere. I will find it and eventually do it. And then we obviously have the Chevrolet Silverado with blown engine, 1987. We have this one. We have 1954 Ford F100 with drop-in tow hook from Standard Oil. And as you can see, they have all the different. Actually, what I will say though about the Cosworth, this is the second Cosworth I know from running on empty. I also have a Cosworth from the STP. I will eventually, like I said before, get to that vehicle. I'm gonna probably do all three of them together because I do have a Black Bandit one as well. So 2021 green light, the normal stuff here. We have Gulf Oil and Gulf Oil International, Energizer, Armor, all and all the STP are all trade the trademarks for all the company so we will have here michelin which makes tires we know shell oil chevron also an oil company there's texaco spt gulf ford and gm and all of these are ford and gm cars i don't know if it's geared towards that but it honestly does seem like that so i'm gonna go ahead and open this hopefully not hurt myself I do actually don't enjoy opening these running on empties. They do look nice. So if you guys plan on keeping it in the package, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's exactly like the Black Bandit, where it comes across as you can either leave it, take it or leave it. I mean, it's up to you guys. I'm just opening it for you. So here we have it. I did not, I came close. I did not damage it. So here you have the little insert that it comes with. And obviously we know what the car is. So far, I didn't see any defects with regards to the tires, but which is nice because green light is really hit and miss. This one looks to be almost in perfect condition, but you can see some sort of minor wheel wobble. And I guess we'll do the left and the right. You have here the Mercury Cougar, number seven from Gulf. And then once again, Mercury Cougar, seven from Gulf. Uh, we'll go back to the front. As usual, they do have pretty good detail here. I see there's a bit of a mispaint there. It's not huge. Uh, other than that, it seems to be okay. Very plain on the bottom there, the front splitter. Go ahead and see, oh, it does pop out easily. It is not, uh... so to compare it, what we're gonna do is I actually have the other Mercury. This is the Barrett Jackson version. Uh, essentially of this you can see there's a little bit of a size difference but with this I want to say collector's edition vehicle you see this little thing in the front there so it's not entirely reused although this is a much higher performance car I think in terms of like a muscle car you can see the, the difference there so they're not obviously just retooled this one is either new or older and this one is a little bit different Anyway, I will leave this here. We will compare it more later after I am done. Uh, the hood opens up. So one of the reasons one of the, these Cougars are great is look how high the hood opens. 
Like it's one of those weird things where if you want to put it on display, you don't have to put up with this. The four shelf it does okay. Not as good though. Their newer Mustangs are terrible. They corrected most of the issues with the Mach 1, but the older uh, Shelby's are awful. So here we have the the details all right. It's not as shiny as some of the other cars I've done. One of the things that is probably to save cost is they don't have very much painted in there. It's just either the silver or the black. Uh, there is a bit of a mispaint there, and I noticed that in this vehicle. See on the left side, they seem to mispaint the same spot. But anyway, uh, other than that, everything else here seems to be done well. Uh, the Gulf Oil is plain and easy to see. Printed on there extremely well. Also, there's very large letters as well. Uh, we go to the back where it's just the lights. And then you have a little indent there for opening the hood. You have a, two little symbols on the top there. I cannot read them if they are in fact letters. So, bearing that, we will go to the bottom of the vehicle where is, you can see the Mercury Cougar has been misprinted, used under license, but then the green light, it's 2019, so obviously it's a redo. They did have a Mercury Cougar from the GL Muscle series, the same as the uh, Mach 1 that I got, but I did not get it because I thought it might have been identical to that. But now looking at this one, XR7 versus uh, this one we know is the Eliminator, as you can see they printed on. It's 2019 as well, so let's just see. No, they're not identical because you can see here there's some physical differences. Uh, I'm not, and you can see there, that's very different as well. Uh, also, this has these two here. This does not have it. So there are some actually quite evident differences between them. Uh, there is very, in fact, it's, yeah, they're actually very different. So I would highly recommend if you enjoy Mercury Cougar, you cannot go wrong with either of these. Uh, I honestly thought it would just be a rehash of this one, but apparently not. This one is entirely different here. Also, they've put the limited edition sticker on it instead of printing it on like they did here. It's really hit and miss. It doesn't take anything or add anything to the vehicle. So other than that, I would say I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this. Once again, a huge nitpick, not a huge nitpick. A nitpick with it is no rear view mirrors. Uh, I thought they would have added them by now, but it's fine. I'll get over it and just move on. Uh, the hood, the engine, as usual, these ones happen to be done extremely well. I have never, and you can see as long as I've had this one, the hood still doesn't drop because it uses the two pin system, sorry, the two slider system. Uh, this one has three, I, I'm a little bit mistaken. This one has silver, blue, and black. But as you can see, the engines are very different because the cars are very different. This is 428CJ, so, and this one is not XR7. Okay, and as for the tires, we will do the roll test in just a second. They are not individually labeled. I mean, it's a rally car. I don't think they, not rally car. Yeah, these ones are not as well. So, to do the roll test, this one is actually probably the smoothest green light I've ever had. There's no wobble whatsoever. Oh yeah, this is probably the best green light I've ever had here. So, good for them. They managed to find a balance between quali product quality and mass production, which is great. Uh, because you can hear this one. You can see, you can hear the wobble, and you can see, doesn't want to roll. So, anyway, so here we have it, the Mercury Cougar Series 13 from Running on Empty. Uh, it's XR7, 1967. I'd say it's done very well, except for the rear view mirrors. And obviously, uh, having noticed that mispaint there, it's probably going to be covered up very easily. How, and on the fact that it's on the inside, you can just do this to avoid it. And done. Uh, interior is done the standard way, no gla no panels on the side, steering wheel done very well as usual. Uh, back very plain, you can see the, the roll cage is in there. Obviously it's a rally vehicle. I don't remember seeing it here and in fact it is not in there. But for Transamerica it might be a requirement. So here we have it. Uh, sorry about the, another long video. The Mercury Cougar XR7 1967 Trans Am, a little bit different in terms of undercarriage and body, plus the hood is different from the 428 CJ Eliminator from the Barrett-Jackson collection. 
Highly recommend it, as long as you don't mind it missing the rearview mirrors. And thank you guys for watching, and till the next one.